All right. So let's, uh, let's wind down. We're, we're nearing the end of the day. Uh, I just wanted to bring up Trish from ProSoft Binders uh, right after we heard from uh, Millkeep because uh, it, logbooks are something near and dear. So it, once, you, once you get your logbook all pretty and you've got your confident numbers, what are you going to walk into the interview with? And, and that's what Trish is here to talk about. So uh, it'll just be a, a, real quick. She just wants to introduce, uh, she's talked to most of you already at her booth. Uh, but I just want to allow you to uh, address the crowd. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I lost my voice three or four days ago. I have barely have a voice today. My husband's delighted. He's not going to want to know it's come back. Um, I'm Trish, and my son-in-law flies for Air Wisconsin. He's a captain there. And about uh, six years ago, he came to me and said, I've got this great opportunity. <clears throat> there are all of these pilots that are transitioning out of the military, into commercial aviation, and a lot of pilots who are moving from regionals to majors. And there is a great need for something nice to put their logbook reports, which are now being produced electronically. <clears throat> you know, Logbook Pro, Log 10 Pro, MCC Pilot, you know the usual suspects. Uh, those reports that you produce from those, those programs need a house, need somewhere to live. And 95% of the people, maybe 98, of the folks who come to us and purchase logbooks want them for interviews. They want to go in with their shoes shined and something really nice to give to the interviewer. So he designed this logbook, which many of you have already seen. I'll wave it in front of you here. Um, so we started with the plain logbook. And we wanted something that was made in the United States, first of all, that was really important. It's not made in China. They're manufactured up in New York to our specs, and they're all stitched, turned and stitched, so that they will, obviously, we don't want them coming apart. Um, the D-ring binder, in, I mean, the, the D-rings inside give you a lot of capacity. That was important. The pocket on the inside, great for putting resumes and other papers in. So he really thought this through very, very carefully when he designed it. So the um, binder had a standard Wings logo on the cover. Over time, military pilots started ordering these. Well, can you put an Air Force wing on there? Can you put the Navy, Avial, Avial, uh, Naval Aviator wing on it? So we began morphing this and creating more and more artwork for, for the different uh, services. And we also have them plain if you want it plain. Um, then, this is organic, we started getting requests for, well, I need to take all these medical records with me to my interview, or lots of copies of some other paperwork. So we created portfolios, which are portrait, which you can use to put all of these extra papers that you might want to stick in a file folder um, in these nice pockets with and without rings. So that's the genesis of where these logbooks came from. And his philosophy was to have something that was priced so that the average pilot could afford it, but would look really, really nice and not be $300. So uh, that's it. And now, to the end of the story is, he says, I wish I, had, I should have asked for a royalty. <laughs> but instead, he gets Christmas presents. So, um, so that's it. We don't sell software. We sell all the hardware. And we have all of the pieces that you need, including tabs, organizer tabs, and other uh, peripheral material to make you look very um, neat and organized at your next interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.